Tuesday. In the last 24 hours, police say two men were serving the victim papers when she came out with a shotgun. One of the men had a handgun and shot at her twice, killing 57-year-old Tamara Perry. Now, on the social media site X, we found that Perry made posts about QAnon, a political conspiracy theory, and also posted video of herself at the U.S. Capitol on January 6th. Neighbors told us even if they disagreed with her beliefs, it was a terrible way to go. It's a sad situation. I'm glad nobody else was hurt in what happened. Multiple questions are still unanswered, like what kind of papers were they serving? And why haven't there been any arrests? We are going to keep digging into this. We'll get it back to you when we have those answers. In Pierce County, a 14-year-old boy is facing charges for a shooting near Lincoln High School. And Tacoma police say his 16-year-old victim is in the hospital after being shot in the chest and the arm. According to court documents, the 14-year-old had been suspended from school after he was found with pepper spray and a knife. Police say he planned on fighting another student for blowing vape smoke into his face. Tuesday was the boy's first day back from suspension. Officers say the 16-year-old heard the other kid might have had access to a gun, so he left school. He told police the 14 year old followed him and a friend across the street. And that's when a fight started ending in that shooting. SWAT responded and found the boy in a nearby apartment. Lincoln High School went into lockdown after those shots were fired. Cairo 7 was there. This is video from the scene. You can see Tacoma PD parked in the area. The 14 year old boy is in custody. Take a look at this. Federal investigators are releasing new pictures of the man wanted in a triple murder in concrete. This is Jason Michael Berman shopping in early August before his disappearance. He's accused of shooting and killing his wife at two teenagers on August 2nd. And authorities say he set the family's home on fire after the murders. They're offering a $15,000 reward for any information leading to Berman's arrest. The driver who sent three Snohomish County deputies on a wild chase faced a judge for the first time yesterday. Chance David Jippen is facing four charges connected to Tuesday's incident. The chase shut down Highway 2 near Snohomish and left those three deputies hurt. Investigators say they crashed into each other going after Jippen. Jippen was actually convicted of attempting to elude less than two weeks ago. His bail has been set at $15,000. This morning, Bellevue police are asking for the community's help. They're trying to catch a driver caught on camera vandalizing LGBTQ plus art over the past couple of months. Police say a young man, look at this, driving a dark silver or gray BMW sedan without license plates can be seen in this video very clearly. And they say he's done this several times. Now it's costing the city. Since July, there have been three separate separate incidents, causing more than $13,000 in damages. This morning, the Bellevue Police Department is urging community members to come forward to help them identify this driver. Police say once they identify the person, they could charge him with reckless driving and vandalizing city property. However, police can't officially call this a hate crime until they can catch the driver and question him about his motives. In Pierce County, it was a bad day for this driver. First, the car goes headfirst into the Puyallup River. Then the driver got arrested. Deputies had to actually dive into the water Monday night to try and reach that driver. The person climbed on top of the Tesla while waiting to be rescued. After they were safe, five police arrested that driver for suspected DUI. New problems are piling up for Boeing. The massive port strike on the east and Gulf Coast could prevent the company from getting important plane parts. And this also affects Airbus. Both companies ship components to plants in the Carolinas and Alabama. Those ports have been shut down since midnight on Tuesday. 45,000 dock workers are striking. This comes as Boeing deals with its own strike. 33,000 unionized workers have been off the job for three weeks now. We reached out to Boeing for comment. We are waiting to hear back. If you live in Pierce County, listen up, especially if you're a Tacoma Public Utility customer. That's because you'll be paying more for energy bills. The agency is increasing rates next year and again in 2026. And TPU says the price hike is because of operation costs, supply chain shortages, and repairs to aging infrastructure. So how much more will you be paying each month? Rates will increase about 6.5% each year. It means next year. This will cost you about $6.72 more every month. In 2026, rates will go up again by about seven dollars and nine cents. Washington schools got a report card ranking the best schools in the state. Niche, a company that ranks and rates schools, released its annual rating based on a lot of data, quality of education, teacher student ratio, graduation rates and so on. 
The best schools, according to this ranking, are private schools, the Overlake School in Redmond and Annie Wright Schools dominating the list. And the best public schools in are in Redmond, too. The top high school is Tesla STEM. By their metrics, the best elementary school is Sunrise Elementary School in North Shore. You know, we were just talking a story ago about rates going up for our utility. It's, uh, it's a day where you need the heat on. Oh, morning. yeah. Oh, yeah. If it was definitely a lot colder. Uh, without a doubt. Uh, five degrees, 10 degrees, some places 13 degrees colder, like Olympia, for example. It's really chilly out there because we've had clear skies overnight, and we continue to. That Tulalip Resort casino camera, it's gorgeous, though. You got Pilchuck. You have a nice first shot of sunrise here in Tulalip. At some point, we can't see it yet because you're seeing people leave town at the airport, but you will absolutely absolutely be able to see the mountain. It'll be gorgeous. Look, you're 40 in Arlington right now. Where that camera is in Tulalip, 43. Snohomish, Lake Stevens and Everett in the upper 30s and lower 40s. And we're looking at spots here where I think fog will settle back in. And also looking at, say, 35 in Olympia, 35 now in Shelton, and 45 in Bremerton. You notice that Tacoma, that's the Narrows, but is at 51? That's because of a little bit of wind. So if you're more sheltered from the wind, say, for example, Puyallup, Spanaway, Ording, Buckley, Edomclaw, you're in the 30s. So it's all over the place this morning. Just 5, 10, 12 mile per hour wind is enough to keep the atmosphere mixed and stay warmer. You'll notice, though, we are mainly clear. It's just some patchy fog, and I think you'll see more developing around Shelton Olympia South, and I think you'll see a little in Puyallup, and I think you'll see some around, say, like Arlington, Lake Stevens. Then we see sunshine until we get a little bit of high cloud cover from that to push in. This is your Friday weather maker, but today you just see a little high cloud cover. That's it. So bundle up now, then you get to about 70 in Tacoma, Chehalis, upper 60s in Seattle, even above average, 62 in Everett, about 60 in Bellingham. Now, farther north, you see more cloud cover. So Everett north, it's more partly cloudy than south of there, more sunshine. And we do have the rain to time out for tomorrow. We're going to talk about how much we'll see as well. And then look at your beautiful weekend for the Hawks, especially in the upper 60s and lower 70s. Download that Cairo 7 mobile weather app so you can keep track of this right on your phone. But before you go anywhere, Frankie, we have to keep track of what's happening there in the South Sound. Yeah, you know what? I really wanted to move out of this area, but this is where we're seeing the most activity. So I'm giving you a wide view from our real-time traffic map. Average speed right now for those northbound lanes on I-5 are moving at about 20 to 25 miles per hour. And taking a look over at 167, we're seeing an average speed, as long as you're not in some of those uh, more gridlocked areas, moving at about 30 to 35 miles per hour. Now, a place that we continue to see some on again, off again traffic with those speeds moving at about 15 miles per hour now is right in between Auburn and uh, the federal or Auburn and Renton. Now, this is again one particular region of 6167 that seems to have the most activity again, really at a crawl and it is impacting your drive time. So as we take a look at some of those updated times, if you're going Puyallup to Renton, 47 minutes now, 37 Olympia to Tacoma. So still looking pretty good for the most part there. Tacoma to Seattle, though, just shot of about an hour commute and again all of it climbing I'll have more updates so coming up in about 10 minutes. Thanks Frankie 611 coming up the King County Sheriff's Office has a new tool to help keep you safe on the roads. Now we're getting a look as it takes off for more missions and next time you drive to Oregon it could cost you more when new tolls will go into effect and how pricey it's going to get. Cheers to conservation. It's Woodland Park Zoo for Oktoberfest, presented by Alaska Airlines. Join us on October 5th from 1.30 to 7. Explore the entire zoo with special animal enrichments and keeper talks. This 21 and over event features over 50 breweries showcasing the best brews and ciders in the Northwest, all while supporting Woodland Park Zoo's conservation programs. Tickets on sale now at zoo.org slash Oktoberfest. I started taking care of my mom about five months ago. She has dementia and then being newly diagnosed with lung cancer.